Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today we're gonna check out a 5 inch from HG LRC and it's the N-Blade Max. And the beauty about this drone is that it's super premium but they sell the version without camera at only 199 bucks. I don't know how they pull it off but let's try it and let's see how it does. In the box you get two sets of HQ Juicy Prop J40 5.1 x 4 x 3. Prop nuts, a little aluminum heat sink for the VTX, silicone camera dampeners that will mount any kind of camera you want, two HG LRC branded battery straps and they are rubberized, and the hexagonal key to mount a GoPro, but they don't provide the GoPro nut, at least in my pre-release version. Also, it doesn't come with the antennas and with the hardware to mount the VTX. And boom, let's talk about the drone. It comes with these propeller direction cards. The propellers are running outwards. You have this sticker with the first warnings before flight. And this is probably one of the most premium drones I have seen so far, at least finish-wise. There is not one 3D printed part. Everything is made of injection molded plastic. Even the small details like the landing feet, the receiver compartment, which you can open with this rubberized flap. Everything is injection molded again. It's incredible. The carbon has been blacked out everywhere. And you have a ton of addressable RGB lights running all around the drone. The front canopy looks amazing. It's CNC aluminum. You have this kind of air vents that channel the air through the inside of the drone. It's also built like a tank. It has a 1.5 millimeter top plate and the bottom plates are three millimeter sandwiching a six millimeter arm. This thing, like, <laughs> it's perfectly stiff. I believe it's gonna fly amazing. You can get the frame in four different configurations. This is the DC five inch, but you can also get it in X configuration. You're gonna see the propellers in the camera view, but it's gonna fly a little bit better for freestyle. Also, they make it with longer arms and different motors for seven inch. So you can get a seven inch dead cut or X design. And it's gonna be called the N-Blade Pro. And the electronics are quite premium as well. Starting from the motors, they look amazing. Look at those coils. The magnets have a very, very minimal tolerance with the stator. They are 2306.5, 19,000 kV, so they are also quite beefy. The USB-C port for the flight controller is routed up here, and you have a dual stack with a H7 flight controller, so a very fast processor, and 60 amps 8-bit ESCs on the bottom. You can use an array of different cameras, analog, O3, O4, or whatever you like, it's gonna fit at the back. And the LEDs offer quite a bit of customization. They have a power board inside here where you can select if you want them to be controlled by Betaflight, or they even have Bluetooth and you can connect to the Banlan X app you can download from Play Store and control them via Bluetooth. This is incredible. And boom, the O4 is finally in and the weight now is 460 grams, which is fine because it's the same weight as the Vapor. Other drones like the iFlight, the ones with the LEDs usually are around 500 grams, so I'm happy this one is lighter. On the website they say the weight is gonna be around 490 grams. I don't know how is it possible, maybe adding a GPS, a receiver can add an extra 5-6 grams, but that's about it. I even added the little heat sink at the back for the O4. They suggest flying this drone with a 1450 milliamps. I have a 1500 success, which is very close. So I'm gonna fly with this first, and then I'm gonna try a 1800 milliamps. And when you power it on, it does this super cool lighting effect. Wow, super floaty. Okay, let's put it in acro. Well, it feels great. I wanted to show you the new thing we have to chase in the backyard. We have uh, this uh, robot lawnmower. Now, I'm not gonna go too close, otherwise it's not gonna cut right because it has sensors. But this thing is super cool. I have a review coming up on it. It's uh, called the Mammotion Luba 2. <laughs> and it has to live together with the chicken. Wow! This is my first flight. Okay, let's see if it has jello. No. Uh, what was that? 
Oh. So when you punch out It doesn't have control at uh, low throttle. I don't have uh, the throttle on the screen sadly, but okay, now it's zero throttle. And you can see, yes, I can move it, but it just uh, loses to wow, imagine diving with this. Let me try. Yeah. Oh. No. Okay. Probably raising the minimum throttle will uh, will make it fine, but it seems like they didn't try the drone when uh, shipping it out. If you keep the throttle high, no problem. Wow. I don't like that behavior at all. It's uh, it's crazy because I'm used to lowering the throttle. And I feel like the drone is just uh, becomes unresponsive. Otherwise, it's, it's amazing. Like it's super fast. I don't have the amperage. I left the OSD as they as they put it because um, I felt like it was uh, satisfactory enough. But now I notice there is no amperage, no throttle. Oh, it flies great unless <laughs> until you lower the throttle and then it just uh, goes uh, limp mode and uh, <laughs> it ragdolls when you do that. It's, uh, it's crazy. So I'm going to finish this flight and then I'm going to change the minimum uh, throttle because I feel like it's kind of unsafe if I have to do tricks. It doesn't sound the cleanest I ever uh, heard. I have to be careful here because there are a couple of uh, very thin, uh, yes, trees. And we have all the chicken right at the edge of the backyard. <laughs> Look at this. Chicken reunion. They don't care too much about the robot. Actually, they run behind it when they see it because uh, it cuts the grass and they like uh, following it to see if uh, it um, unearths some uh, bugs or stuff i don't know but they seem to find food behind uh, the robot so it seems like they can coexist peacefully robot has sensors look if i go in the front it's gonna avoid the drone i hope yeah you see it's it stops. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, maybe the drone is not a still enough uh, obstacle for it. Hey, it feels weird when you do tricks. Otherwise, it's not bad. I don't know, it seems like they, they didn't kind of try the, the drone. Like, they tuned and then they forgot to try doing tricks with it. Yeah, it totally loses power when you lower the throttle. And it's probably the minimum throttle being too low. I'm gonna raise it and hopefully it's gonna be perfect. If it's an easy fix like that, I'm not gonna be too salty about it, but come on. Of course, I have a pre-release version, so sometimes they are still in uh, tuning because they ship this uh, a couple of weeks ago, it takes a little bit of time to, to come to my place. Wow! Uh, when you lower the throttle, it just uh, feels very weird. Oh! Five minutes! Not too bad, I didn't fly totally bashing it, but... I'm happy with the flight time. And now it's time for the 1800 milliamps. I'm gonna raise the minimum throttle. Hopefully the issue is gonna go away. Let's try raising the throttle to 1200 and see how it goes. Yeah, this is uh, the minimum. <laughs> you can keep it. No, it's still... Uh... Wow, it still moves pretty weird. I am gonna talk to uh, them and... Tell them to retune this thing. Hope I believe it's a tuning issue. Maybe it's somewhat better now. But no. 
Not really. If I keep the... Uh, no, 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 it's just totally imprecise. Wow. I had high hopes for this drone. And it, it flies great. Like, it flies great if you keep the throttle high. If you don't uh, make it go to zero, it's fine. I don't know what setting they touch. But it, it would be flying incredible if it wasn't for that big issue, because really this is uh, uh, barely unflyable. You go to zero and the drone goes... Uh, oh, <laughs> it, it goes totally unpredictable. I don't know what's that. I, the, the days are very short. I don't really have time to retune it because uh, the drone comes out tomorrow. I'm just gonna talk to them and I'm gonna write in the comments if uh, they update the tune. I'm gonna try it again, but I don't know. I'll keep you updated because the drone seems very interesting. It seems to be only a tuning issue. But uh, no, I don't advise this drone uh, if uh, the tuning is like this because it's just uh, unflyable. I never had this kind of behavior from a drone. It's uh, incredibly weird and I don't feel like uh, freestyling it. But it's a shame because it's a super smooth drone otherwise. And I feel like it's gonna be a best buy if they fix this tuning issue. I don't know how it's possible they, they didn't, didn't find out on their own that the, the drone does this when you go at uh, zero throttle. It seems crazy to me. Maybe it's my unit. I don't know, maybe they fixed it, but they didn't tell me there is a, a new tune to put, it, to put on. Super weird. And it's a shame because it seems to be oh, efficient, smooth, nice. Uh, it's a pity. If they fix this issue, it's gonna be an S tier drone up there with the vapor. Really good price, very good quality. It has already place for a GPS. Actually, there are two things I don't like. The tuning, first, because it's unacceptable that they ship out a drone like this. And second, there is no hardware in the power version, in the uh, without uh, camera version, to mount the camera. So you have to provide your own screws, your own cable. Cable, you get it from the O4, so it's not a problem. But come on, it's just uh, six screws, four for uh, mounting the O4 unit. And other two for other four to mount the camera in the camera mount. Also, they didn't provide the antennas. And the problem is they don't have the mounts for the original four antennas. They need external different custom antennas. And I just snatched them from another drone. But again, if you don't provide the mount for the original O4 and O3 antennas, you have to provide the antennas. So these are the only two cons with an otherwise very good drone. And now that I, I am learning to fly it, I am keeping the throttle uh, higher, not at zero, and it's flying better. But of course it's my brain rewiring for the drone and it shouldn't be like this. Because you see how good it flies when you when you keep the throttle, uh, oh, let's not crash against the robot. Yeah, it flies great. It's really a shame because it's almost perfect, but it's comically bad when you punch out and you leave the throttle, it just uh, does this, it's crazy. I have pushed it. A little bit more, probably we're gonna go to six minutes. Of course, I have not bashed it too much, simply because uh, the throttle issue is uh, not giving me too much confidence. It really wobbles when you have a low, low throttle, it's crazy. It doesn't have control. 
Now, these propellers are different from the ones I usually see. They are a little bit slimmer, maybe they have less control, but I mean, the motors are very big, it should have no problem. I guess it's time to land. Six minutes. And it's time for my not so final opinion on the HGLRC N Blade Max 5 inch Dead Cut. I am very upset with this drone because from the box it seemed like a Best Buy, probably even better than the Vapor. And uh, I mean, the price is there, the quality is the best I have seen so far, no 3D printed parts, the carbon is great, it's blacked out, it's all injection molded, it's costly, it's uh, well, well designed, it has these super premium LEDs, it's not super heavy, really a lot, a lot of good stuff to like. You can put a GPS, it comes with a mount, and probably you will have options to buy everything already mounted from the factory. And the tuning will be very, very good as well. One of the best I have seen, but it has one huge, huge issue. When you go at zero throttle, the drone totally limps and it becomes completely unpredictable. <laughs> so I don't suggest getting the drone at the current state because, because it's very risky and it's not a good experience at all. I'm gonna talk to HGRC. And now it's autumn, the days are very short, it's gonna rain for the next week, so I will not have too much time to test it myself. But I'm gonna make HGLRC create a better P tuning for it, I'm gonna test it as soon as I can, and hopefully they're gonna fix this relatively easy to fix software issue. Then this drone is gonna be a best buy, in my opinion. So I'm gonna make a very short update video when they make this thing work the way it's supposed to. Another small issue I have found with the without camera version right here is that they don't provide the screws to mount the camera in the front, the VTX at the back, there is no O3 O4 cable, you can get it from the camera itself, and also they don't provide the antennas, they made the holes big so you cannot use the stock DJI antennas, you have to have these uh, analog style ones, let's call them, I had to take them from another drone because they were not provided, so be sure you buy them if you get this drone. And that's all for today. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this drone. I feel like it has great, great potential. I can't wait for it to be good. As always, if you want to buy something, check out the links in the description below, because clicking on them, you help my channel a lot, and many times you also find discounts. And really, do subscribe, because I'll keep you updated on this drone. Stay safe, and happy flying. Bye!